this is my first time diving into a new artist, specifically this artist. I have not heard anything before from him. So, roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider subscribing and becoming part of the family. Now, like I said, this is my first time diving into Marlon Craft. I had seen him in plenty of request videos before I went full-time on YouTube, obviously. People were talking about him in the comments, but I just never had enough time to get into an older song because new music always coming out and new music always goes first, obviously. You gotta strike while the iron's hot. But now that I'm full-time on YouTube, thanks to to Patreon donators and supporters if you want to potentially support me and me going full-time on YouTube then consider checking that out first link in the description but also thanks to Patreon specifically the highest tier that gets a request we are doing gang shit by Marlon Kraft and this request comes from hold up I got it written down right here uh Seppy S-E-P-P-Y gang shit Marlon Kraft Seppy I appreciate your uh, I appreciate your support over there on Patreon and I'm glad that we could get to this and that you requested this because you're kind of requesting and bringing this to the light for so many other people who had requested it but didn't that but aren't necessarily on patreon but that's all that i got to say i'm excited to get into this one highly requested follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below and we got gang shit so a little bit over a year old at this point let's get it thought that was frank from breaking bad for a second frank the DEA agent, the, the brother-in-law. My name John and I'm a city cop. And I'm just tired of these, let me not. They try to paint me as racist, but see, I'm really not. Ooh, hold on, hold on. That beat coming in heavy like that, clean. And then he said, I'm tired of these, maybe not. Maybe I better not. My name John and I'm a city cop. And I'm just tired of these, let me not. They try to paint me as racist, but see, I'm really not. Call me pork, so I put them on they belly at every stop. And they Ooh. scared what a Ooh. They call me pork? Like, they call me a pig? Because that's like a derogatory name for a cop slang. They call me a pig, so I put them on their belly at every stop. But also, like, pork belly, like the type of like the type of meat. It's, like, really fatty. It comes literally from the stomach of a pig. Fire, dog. I call me pork, so I put them on their belly at every stop. And they scared. What a joke. How about how I feel? Check the crime rate. Look at my eyes behind my shield. I'm scared. This is Ooh. a job. This is how I find my meal. So if they go and lie and steal, I'm going to make them lie from steal. Oh, and I think if they go and lie and steal, like lying to my face, like about their whereabouts and steal, like looting, then I'm gonna make them lie from steal, like lie dead from the fucking pistol. God damn, that wordplay, dog. And I love songs like this that give you like an introspective look at the other side of the coin. Cause that is a staple argument from that side that saying cops are not like inherently bad or inherently racist, like they're scared for their lives as well. Because look at the statistical crime rate, like a lot of it is, at least statistically, in the United States, especially in like poverty areas, a lot of it is commit, uh, committed by like African American males. So he's out here fearing for his life because he's putting his life on the line just to provide for his family so that way they have a warm meal. How dare you say that he's that he shouldn't be scared, you know? Yeah, so if they go and lie and steal, I'ma make them lie from steal. Ooh. And I think my life do matter more. I seen too many of these people kill without remorse. Used to be three fifths of a man, but I think half is more accurate. How they celebrate savageness in a pattern form. My family. God damn, used to be three fifths of a man because there was a three fifths law where like I forgot what, what exactly the law was, but basically it said that black people back in back in the day where their votes or their their rights were worth three fifths of whatever a white person's rights were. But he's saying like three fifths is too much. I think that you actually have. And I do think that my life matters more because y'all are out here killing y'all selves black on black violence. Why should I not think that my life matters more? God, this is this is gonna be a long ass fucking video. I seen too many of these people kill without remorse. Used to be three fifths of a man, but I think half is more accurate. How they celebrate savageness in a pattern form. My family raised me not to trust them. Fuck you, they ain't wrong. These are the cops of my brothers, and they be wishing us harm. They told me Ooh. that it's our culture to make sure that they suffer, and I can't break the bond. It's all I got. I'm faithful, dog. Shit. Yo, I already know the direction that this video is gonna go just by based off of the lyrics right here. Gang shit, like everybody, like everybody reps their gang, and he's saying that why are the police, why are the police no different? They're basically a guy, a gang with a badge, and a gang doesn't necessarily mean like a bad. It's like, like he says, it's just like a brotherhood. It's like we're going through the same, we're going through the same fight together. You can think about gang shit being anything. Like your family is a gang, your your coworkers are a gang. Anybody who's going through the same experience together, he said, my family raised me not to trust you, and he could. 
be talking about like the white side, like like the racist parts of his family. Or on top of that, he could not even literally be meaning his family only. He could be talking about like they were, we were taught in police training and just through police experience not to trust you because he says my brothers and they ain't wrong. And he said my family, but he's talking about his brothers behind the badge. You know what I'm saying? I'm faithful dog, shit. I bleed blue like I'm a Giants fan. To question hey. my ways to stop flowing my veins. So I ain't slowing the day. I'm a by bleed blue like a Giants fan. For those that aren't from the United States or don't watch football, New York Giants are blue and red. I bleed blue, and then also like blue is is what you call cops because of their blue uniform. I bleed blue like I'm a Giants fan to question my ways to stop flowing my veins. So I ain't slowing the day. I'ma keep everyone safe from these black bastards, and that's word to my gang, gang, gang. I'm Ooh. just riding. That's word to my gang, 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 dog. That was fucking clean. I'm gonna keep the streets safe from these black bastards because we have the stereotypical notion of what they do just based off of the fucking statistics. And I'm gonna keep the streets clean from these motherfuckers and that's word and that's on gang, dog. I have no words because this shit is fire. Gang, I'm just riding for my gang, gang, gang. Yeah, that fucking hook is clean, dog. Cause it's just it just gives you like like gives you like you're riding in a fucking lowrider. Like it gives you the vibes that you want to bop this shit. America, whole lot of gang shit. America, whole lot of gang shit. America, whole lot of gang shit. Gang, gang, gang. America a whole lot of gang shit, bro. That's a fucking dope line. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, that's all it really is everywhere. You're in a gang with your brothers who are, who have the same mentality and who have the same, you're in the same position. The left side of the fucking aisle is gang shit on the Democrats. The right side of the aisle is gang shit on the Republicans. Everybody's just looking out for themselves and their family. Fire, dog. Gang, gang, gang. My name's James and I'm in the clan. My family been down for a four generation span. It's not about the hatred, man. It's love for our nation, the white place. So we took savages and enslaved and tamed them in these white threads as hereditary. Oh, fuck. Now we're going into the KKK gang? Bro, and then the instrumental changed from the fucking, like the organ, and it changed into like the Dixie, like plicking of the fucking banjo or the guitar. God damn, dog. That's like genius production. We took savages and enslaved them and tamed them, dog. God, that's a powerful fucking line. He said, my name's James and I'm in the clan. My family been down for a four generation span. Like, yo, the hatred and the racism has gone has gone on for four fucking generations. And that's important, like the four generation span line, because once you get to that fourth generation, potentially fifth generation, we're talking about the slave days. It's a dope line because a lot of people and a lot of rappers and a lot of just people who try to put in perspective how, yes, it was a a long time ago, but it really wasn't as long as you think. They always put it into perspective by saying my grandma's grandma was a slave. And it makes that sound like it wasn't as far back as we think. So this is the same way of saying it, but in a different way, four generations back. That's clean as fuck. And these white threads as hereditary as this white skin. I ain't have a say soon as I was of age, I sin. And if I have to, I resort to violence because they try shot colors in the country made for white men. And we're poor too. Dog, this fucking song. He said these white threads are about as hereditary as this white skin. Like I didn't even question it. This was part of the fam. This was this is the family tradition. Fuck. And what poor too? Boo hoo! All of you lefties complain about your oppression and pain while all of these Mexicans came and take all our jobs and our lanes. And I don't blame corporatist games because I want the spoils and fame. I could have more too. That could be me one day. That's why I love Trump. You see, he see my way. We gonna make America white again. Cause I don't want to compete with people who work harder than me because we all spite them. And if I consider... Fuck the hug. The way that he says he takes Trump's like make America great again and then his racist nature turns that phrase into make America white again because that's what he hears in his, in his mental state in his gang. Making America white again is synonymous with making America great again. And he talks about I'm poor too and I'm, and I'm tired of people like saying I'm tired of people who work harder than I do take my job. Like that's a dope ass line because it's like it's acknowledging the fact that they're taking your job because they're better workers than you are. It's dismissing that that point by saying like oh these mexicans are coming in illegally i don't care if they work harder than me they're not entitled to those jobs like that's fucking thought provoking bro white again because i don't want to compete with people who work harder than me because we all spited them and if i consider that how we live in is wrong that would mean that i would have to concede that the sale and beating of those bodies was uncalled for that it was all the murder and rape that got us these sundays at the golf course that we as hate yeah 
the, the lyrics are fucking heavy. I, what I wanted to pause right here, he's saying some shit. If I concede to their argument, then that is me acknowledging the fact that we get Sundays on the golf course because of the fact that we enslaved people to build this country in the way that it is. So he's basically saying, it's not that I don't see that point, because I do, it's just I cannot concede to that point. I cannot say that that is right, because then all of everything that I've ever believed in, everything that my family's ever believed in would be wrong. And I'm not willing to, and I'm not willing to stake all that on the line just to say that you're right. It's like when a couple gets into an argument and, and one of them is right and then the other one is wrong and that person knows that they're wrong eventually, but they don't want to concede to the fact that their pride is going to be hurt because they, like saying that, yes, you're right, I'm sorry. They would rather not do that. They would rather continue the fight. Like that's basically, in a nutshell, what this mentality is. That it was all the murder and rape that got us these Sundays at the golf course. That we as heinous as they try to make us out to be, why would I even try? There's nothing in it for me to not treat it as a lie. So far as I'm concerned, all the blacks, Jews, and the gays, and the Muslims, and the Mexicans can leave or die. I do it all for the clan. These are my brothers. They understand me. We all understand each other. Don't tell me Yo, that. Yo, see, that's what I, I, that's literally what I just said. Like, it's easier for me, like, there's nothing in it for me to agree that you are correct in your stance so i'd rather just i'd rather just say it's a lie if if, if it's a lose-lose for me i'd rather just believe my side even though i know that it's wrong fathers and mothers should be ashamed i'm riding now forever for my gang 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 i'm just riding for my gang 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 fucking fuck dog gang, gang. They just paint him to be a normal person with a normal family and just like they did the cop like they just paint them to be normal everyday people because technically they are shit is fucking fire dog this is a dope ass concert this is a dope ass song and these type of songs they're not designed for the artist to say like this is my point this this, this is what i'm thinking the artist is just is just being a mirror to show you what what the way the world actually is america whole lot of gang shit gang 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 my name marcus and i'm in the feds I've been locked up for four years and six is left. I got ten for armed robbery shit and honestly, I ain't even want to do it. And it's hard not to get depressed and dying here. Was banging colors since a young was born into a gang. Cause hold up, hold up, hold up. I was listening to the production change because not we, every time we're getting a production change between each individual verse. That's fucking, it's clean, dog. And then now here we have like the saxophone while now it's all, now we're finally getting to like a black dude's point of view. It's fucking tight. Was banging colors since a young was born into a gang because of the black that I grew Weapon. I done seen many die and a few folks kill, but when the world won't give you nothing, shit, you gon' steal. And my game bro, is all I bro, knew. Bro, bro, he said, he said, I seen many people die, but a few folks killed. Like, bro, do you know how like powerful of a line that is? Like, just because they didn't get killed, like physically, they're dead on the inside. I've seen, I've seen this system. I've seen Section Eight. I've seen, I've seen what systematic poverty does, like generational poverty does to these families. So, like, eat long before they were killed, they. They've been dead. Holy fuck, dog. He said, I've been banging colors since a youngin, and banging colors means like repping your set, repping your gang, like blue or red, Crips or Bloods. Banging your colors since a youngin. I was born into a gang because of the hood that I grew up in. Like, I didn't have any choice just based off of the fact that I grew up in an area where you cannot make it out. That's powerful as fuck, dog. It's amongst the madness, drugs and death all around us, and we was angry and callous. The gang shit was all we had. We made mistakes and were misled. But while my gang got me in jail, yours got you home in bed. Riddle me that. My skin Black, as simple as that. The hatred you both got for me is all written in fact of our institutions. You confused and feel like getting me back for what? For living poor in conditions that's whack. You claim that I strike. Damn, getting get your 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 institutions. He's talking about to the two people at the beginning, the Ku Klux Klan and the fucking and the police department. Y'all are determined and y'all are dead set at getting us back. Like, and for what? What did we ever do to you? Y'all enslaved us from the very beginning, and then after slavery, y'all y'all treated us like less of a person, and then. And after that, y'all gave us y'all gave us John Crow. And then after that, we barely we barely had to get into like civil rights movement, which was only like maybe 60 years ago at this point. So like, why do y'all have this hatred and determination to see us fail? Like, like, what did we ever do? Y'all hate us for living poor and not having opportunity? Is that like that doesn't make any sense in his eyes and in, in the eyes of the person talking right now? And then it's dope throughout this entire section where it's the black dude incarcerated and in prison. You're like seeing him talking through a phone, and then it cuts to his family that's there that's like they're trying to trying to survive without him because that is that is a very real thing within the black community for living poor in conditions that's whack you claim that i strike fear in you 
But what you feel is you For me to live how you call clean and be a miracle The dad is empirical You hate it when my people march for me But don't you too scream cause you feel they ain't hearing you Shit, your whole premise is You hate it when my people march for me But don't you scream too when you feel like your people ain't hearing you He said the data is empirical Like, like people always say numbers don't lie like you're only seeing the data that that further like makes your argument correct where the, all this other data is here that you're ignoring that also makes our argument correct you know the whole premise is false but i won't waste no time trying to break your prejudice walls point is we all on some gang shit loyal to what we taught believe in what was passed down our community's theme of thought and i'm the only one that cuffs for it if i get out a better man i'm still fucked for it you turn the tv on and look you got trump for it President is in your game, bitch, and you still pointing me to blame. Should I pray to when I get out? God damn, dog. The fucking lyrics are heavy as fuck. Your president is in your gang. Like, like that's what he's saying. Like, and like the president is on your side. And that's a heavy ass thought because I'm sure that's the way a lot of people think. And not just President Trump. And he said, if I get out of bed a man, like if even if I was free, I get out of bed a man, I'm still fucked for it because there's somebody out there who's trying to bring me down. There's there's extreme poverty and the lack of information and the informational gap gets wider and wider as time passes. So even if I wasn't in jail, I would get out of bed fucked, like no matter what. The president is in your game, bitch, and you still pointing me to blame. Should I pray to when I get out? Shit ain't all the same, but it's a cold world to be alone and when the whole place that you grown and treat you like dogs in the rain. Shit, I might fuck around and call gang. Gang, gang, gang. I'm just riding for my kid. He said, even if I get out and like, I wish everything changed, like, but it's not going to, I'm still going to have the lack of resources. I'm still not going to have education. I'm still going to have racism to battle with. I'm still going to have the hood, still going to have the hood to like try to live through. So shit, I might still have to go to my last resort. I might still have to call for gang. And that's a powerful last line because a lot of convicted felons in the United States, when they get out, they end up going back in. And he's basically saying the reason that that happens is because of this mentality. Okay. I'm just riding for my gang, 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 clean as good. I'm just riding for my gang, 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 gang. And I don't know if you noticed, but like during this section when they're showing the family members, like the like the like the immediate family members of these people, of these characters, both white men had had the entire family, had the entire family present. But on the black character who's in prison, when they go to show the family, he's not there. Crazy ass track, dog. Yo, hold up, hold up. This dude's white? <laughs> Not that it made it any difference, but like his cadence and his delivery and his voice, the way it sounds, he sounds, I thought it was a black dude the whole time. Bro, <laughs> tripped me out right there. But yo. That song right there was hella powerful, dog. Like I, I, I did not know what I was gonna be expecting. I was not ready for this fucking type of track. I was not ready for the for the way that the song sounded. I was not ready for the subject matter. I was not ready for the for the depiction in terms of the visuals. Like everything about it is a masterpiece, bro. Shit is too clean, bro. I'm definitely gonna check out more of this dude stuff because yo a fire but yo that brings us to the end of this video ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you watching if you like what you see please consider liking the video leaving a comment down below if you like what you see enough please consider subscribing yo seppy s-e-p-p-y i i think i'm pronouncing it right i approve yo this i appreciate this right here because i would have never even heard this song ever if it wasn't for your request if you want to potentially get on patreon and see what other kind of exclusive content whether it be discussions whether it be polls songs of the day whether it be early access to certain videos go check out the patreon if you want to support because that's really the only way that i am able to survive since i am now full-time youtube I'm, I'm basically relying on patreon follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below hit up the discord also down in the description below but that's all that i got for you today ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time and like i would say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i catch everybody on the next video peace